Commuter scooters are growing in demand and growing in popularity. And with that, manufacturers are coming out with a whole lot of new features, even on regular scooters. And now with us, we have the all new Hero Destiny 125. Welcome back to DriveSpark. I'm Vedan Johari. And in this video, I'm going to take you guys through what comes new in the Hero Destiny. Hero Destiny 125, Hero claims that they are focused on five new things to come up with this scooter. And they are the comfort, convenience, style, mileage, and safety. So I'll quickly take you through all these five pillars. First off, style. As you can see, it comes completely redesigned from the previous Destiny. The front mudguard that we get and the side panels which we have are all in metal. This enhances the audibility and this just adds to the premiumness of the scooter. On top of that, we get a whole lot of these copper chrome elements on the scooter, such as we get it on the hero badging in the front. We get it nicely panning around the whole front end of the scooter and we get a few accents on the side as well. Apart from that, the Destiny 125 written on the side is in the copper chrome and we get the copper chrome located at the rear as well. Now this on the black scooter creates a really, really nice contrast. So depending on what you like, depending on your preference, the Destiny 125 is available in seven color options. So apart from that, looking at the styling of the scooter, on the black scooter that we have, we get this really nice piano black finish throughout the scooter. And the copper chrome elements, as I said, just bring out the whole premiumness and just enhance the whole scooter's aesthetic. Apart from that, coming to the rear of the scooter, we get the hero badging at the rear as well in copper chrome and we get an H pattern signature uh, rear light, just like how hero has. Apart from that, at the front, we get daytime running lamps and we get a split style headlamp with the bottom as a projector and the top as a regular low beam lights. On top of that, we get 12 inch wheels at the front and the rear and at the front we get a disc brake which is 190mm. Now coming to safety, I've already spoken about the disc brake, now let's talk a little more about the braking performance on this. The Destiny 125 comes with a combined braking system which basically means when you hit your rear brakes, your rear and your front brakes will engage which adds to the whole safety aspect of this. On top of that, when you're braking hard on the scooter, your indicators are going to flash, again, enhancing safety. This alerts the other road goers about your presence. Apart from that, we get a feature which cuts off our indicators automatically called Auto Wink. So basically how that works is when you're riding and let's say you switch on the left indicator to take a left turn, either after 15 winks or 80 meters, your indicator will cut off by itself. Another really, really, really important safety feature that the Destiny 125 comes with is a fall safe alert. So when your scooter falls over and if it's and if the engine is still on, if you pick it up from the throttle side and by mistake give some throttle, the throttle will get cut ensuring that the scooter doesn't run away from you or you lose control of it. So those are all the safety features we get on the Destiny 125. We've spoken about the style and safety, now let's talk about convenience. So for convenience, the Destiny 125 has really been enhanced from the previous versions. So let me sit on the scooter and show you. Now I'm six foot one and sitting on the scooter, as you can see, I have a whole lot of space in front of me. This is a commuter scooter. So we are looking at space. We are looking at comfort. And as you can see, I'm not hitting anything. Even if I turn the wheel completely, Okay, it does head in my way a bit, but it's, it doesn't make it uncomfortable. Then apart from that, we get this a really long seat, a wide seat. And now for storage, at the front, we can fit a full 20 liter water can. We can fit a one liter water bottle comfortably inside the small cubby in the front. And now moving on to the under seat storage, as you can see, we get this uh, this night light, we get a huge storage space. Uh, so these are all the convenience features. We, I'm missing one more thing, the external fuel cap. So at the rear, we get an external fuel cap, which basically means we don't need to get off the scooter when we're refueling, basically adding to the convenience aspect of this. So now I've told you guys about the convenience, style and safety of the Destiny 125. 
And the final two things that are left is the mileage and comfort. Now that I'm going to tell you when I'm actually riding the scooter and I'll also tell you guys about the power figures and how the whole scooter actually performs. So stay tuned and watch out for the GoPro view which is just going to happen right now. Hey guys, now I'm on board the all new Hero Destiny 125 and now I'll be telling you all the power specifications, how it rides, the suspension setup, seat comfort. So yeah, so now in terms of specifications, well, the scooter gets a 125cc air-cooled engine that produces 9 horsepower and 10.4 newton meters of torque. For a 125cc, it does feel a little underpowered. However, Hero has uh, focused on mileage for this, so this is where the fourth pillar comes in, mileage. Uh, in terms of mileage, well, Hero claims a, a 59 kilometers per litre which is really good especially for a, a 125cc scooter that is uh, pretty pretty phenomenal so how it feels to ride well i so as i said i'm six foot one now we'll come to the fifth pillar which is comfort so i'm six foot one and as you guys can see i don't know if you can see my legs but i have a whole lot of space to the seat in front of me even if i move up close i'm still fairly comfortable i don't uh i'm not hitting anything even if i move my legs in and out i'm still really comfortable uh we've got some cows on the road sorry but yeah so apart from that the seat comfort is tremendous it is absolutely perfect I'm extremely comfortable on the scooter. I don't feel any lower back pain. I don't feel any hand pain. The seat is is well cushioned. It's not uh, too soft, nor is it too hard. It's giving that little support that I need for my back. So now we're going on this little off-road section. So we'll talk about the suspension here. So, I mean, even if I take it off this drop, right? It's really soft. It's really comfortable. I'm uh, not struggling at all on the scooter and it's just really really good to ride uh, the whole rider's triangle very relaxed not committed at all just like how we need a commuter scooter to be so it does feel comfortable it is well designed it is well engineered it's a really 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 good commuter and i mean i don't know what else to say it's just brilliantly designed the scooter so we've touched the five pillars now yeah now with the scooter as you can see you can come into all these beautiful locations and that's another one of the destinies riding there now as you can see the scooter switched off by itself right so that's the i3s system kicking in as you guys can see i3s over here so the i3s system is basically intelligence start stop system uh which is like your auto start stop that you get in the uh, cars when you're riding in traffic if you are idling for a certain amount of time it will switch off and all you need to do is press the brake give it some throttle and it cranks back up for you ready to go again so this was our riding impressions of the hero destiny 125 very comfortable suspension tractable engine smooth engine comfortable seat and pretty pretty good mileage especially for a commuter now in terms of display uh i'm in some really harsh sunlight now it's really hot but i still can see the display easily i can see my main readings my speed my range the time and below that we have all our separate readings so yeah that was the riding pdc now let's head back to the the outer of the video so all in all that was our ride our first ride review of the destiny 125 I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions make sure to drop them down in the comment section below and I'll be here to answer you guys. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. My name is Vedan Johari signing out.